Hello, this is Luke Coley. I wanted to show a cool thing that I found out that QLab can accept uh, multi-track WAV files. So um, you can actually put stems into it and play it live. Um, so the way I did that, I used um, a bit of software called Sound Files Merger. Here's the website. Um, I will put a link in the description thing. And um, so what you can do is load your stems into this software and then it'll spit out so that QLab can read it. And then um, what I did was uh, there's the band Scary Pockets. Uh, I support them on Patreon. And so one of the things they do is they give their stem files, uh, which is really cool. So I lined up a bunch of tunes in here and I made QLab carts to go with each one. So let me find the one I've been playing with. Um, so this was a Scary Goldings track. So why don't, let me put it in show mode and show you how this works. Um, what I do, let me open this up in full screen, is you can start the track, plays right here, and that's everything. And I've also set up a loop um, at the beginning as a vamp. So it'll just sit here and loop. And you can play with it. So you can just have just the drums. And just bring in guitar. There's an organ playing the lead part. And then you can bring the bass in. And it's a fun way to play with the multi-track without having to set up a bunch of mixer. And you can do this live, which is really neat. Um, so I set up a couple, a couple other commands. There's the lower all to a low volume, but everything's equal. And then you can just bring in instruments as you, as you want. Or you can just bring the track back to full. Oh, that's my phone. And then when I'm ready to leave the loop, I can hit this D vamp. And it will exit the loop and proceed on through the song. There it goes. So let's take out the lead and just listen to the rhythm section. In fact, let's take the keys out. really cool to hear the song this way. Cool. Here it is at full. Anyway, so that's a fun way. Here, let me bring that back. A fun way to um, play with multi-track stems, and also I envision this uh, if you used a Dante card or a multi-track uh, or multi-channel audio interface, you could output these individually in a way to make um, spatial effects. So to do like a low budget version of this spatial audio with multiple um, points with your speakers. So say you're in a theater space and you have, you want surround effects, you could easily export stems from audacity or any other software and then merge them with the sound files merger and then play them back and remix as needed in qlab um pretty amazing stuff i just didn't realize qlab could do this um yeah that's it just wanted to show you that thanks for watching